What's up? What's up? What's up? Happy Monday. It is Christine Horn, professional actress, life and career coach for actors just like you. You are in for a treat this week. This is Self Tape Mastery. This is a new five part series that is happening all this week, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific. That's what time it is. It's 2 p.m. Eastern. So come on in. Listen, I know this is streaming to multiple places. So I have some people on Crowdcast. That is where I am right now. I am not on Facebook, okay? I'm not on Facebook. So if you're in the event on Facebook, there's a link to Crowdcast if you want to come say something. But listen, I have a lot to teach you this week. So I'm honestly not really going to be taking real time uh, questions or anything like that. I will come back later to see your comments. So if you're in Crowdcast, I can see your comments in real time. If you're not, if you're on Facebook, because it's on multiple places on Facebook, just know that. What I need to do real quick is set my timer. <laughs> um, hi, Marky Henderson. Welcome. Welcome to the live. Okay, so my timer is set because y'all know how I do. I go over and I legit can't go over today because right after this, I'm doing another live at 12 p.m. Um, that I hope you join me for too if you're able to. So what's up? Like, I'm so pumped. Woo! Okay. So uh okay awesome 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 i'm just making sure my screen is good so marky you have commented so that means you can hear me and you can see me and all as well so listen okay the reason why we're, we're, i'm even doing this so for those of you who are new to me welcome my name is christine horn i am i know i said it earlier but i am a working television and film actress my eye is tearing up I'm a working television and film actress. I live in Hollywood. Um, I have a theater background, transition to television, so I know all about that. Um, I live here now. I used to live in Atlanta and worked a ton in Atlanta, Georgia, so I'm very familiar with the Southeast market as well. And in addition to being an actor, I'm a life and career coach for actors, and I work with a lot of actors. Hey, Richard, I see you, right? So we have the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. If you're not a part of that, come on and join us. And I've done some surveys recently. So you guys, I'm always asking you questions, like, what do you need help with? And you're probably, I'm so grateful for you always answering, but you're probably like, when is she going to answer my question? <laughs> so something that came up a lot for you guys recently was still self-tape things. And I know script analysis is a, another thing, marketing, all that. We'll get to that. But this week, I wanted to focus on self-taping because, especially in the Southeast, self-taping is huge. But even out here in LA, I still tape a ton. And so what I want you to not forget this week, because each day I'm going to talk about something different that I see that comes up for a lot of my clients. And so with my one-on-one -on -one clients, especially those who work with me in my inner circle and in my Booking Magnet Academy, I do a lot of self-tape drills. And so it's like, you tape, I give feedback. You tape, I give feedback. And I see the same kind of mistakes and issues and roadblocks often. And so I, this week, I'm going to take one day to go either, go over each of those. And let me just say this now. This is not going to be... A full, yes, okay, my startup disk is full. Thank you. <laughs> I got to delete some stuff. So just know you're going to want more. This isn't going to be enough. We only have 20 minutes a day. I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can because y'all know I'm long-winded. So for those of you who are like, Christine, it's not enough. Don't worry. I got you. If you want to work with me further, you'll find that out later. But just breathe and just be present, okay? Even if you're watching a replay. And so all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. So let's get into it. Just know this. Write this down somewhere on a sticky note in your journal. What I do in my self-tapes is what I do in the room. You got it? What I do in my self-tapes is what I do in the room. Because then here's what happens, the disconnect. So shout out to Richard, who's in Chicago, right? And some of us who are in LA or New York who go in the room more often feel like we have to do something different in the room. That's not the case. Yes, there are people there in front of you that you can see, but nothing you do should be different than what you would do if you were just here in your house about to tape or at a studio. Okay, 
So that is big. That is my biggest, that's a bonus tip because that's not even what I'm here to talk about. But please know this. So if you're in Atlanta or uh, the Carolinas or New Orleans or Florida and you're like, but I'm always self-taping. Just know this is the fact. So when you get a callback or producer session or you get asked to test, you're going to do the same thing. I don't care if it's 50 p- I have a callback this afternoon at 4.45. And I'm not going to say the show, but whenever I have a callback for this show, I've been on this show before. This is another version of the show. And whenever I go into this to Paramount Studios, it's like 10, 12 people in the room. And the room is like as big as my office. Not huge. <laughs> but nothing I do. Hey, Wendy from the Cayman Islands. Nothing I do changes. So whatever I did to be, to get my call back, that's what I'm going to do again. I don't care if it's 50 people in there because I'm not there to sell the room. That's a theater mindset for all my theater actors who are watching me. We're used to walking in the room and being like, I'm Christine Horn. Hello, everybody. Yes, you're going to love me. You're going to love this. Like Marky walks in the room. He's like, I'm Marky Henderson. See me, love me, right? But <laughs> it's more it's more than that. It's about what this character is about to do. So let me, I got 14 minutes, 58 seconds. Okay, so my first tip for you today. <laughs> hey, Don. <laughs> so here's my first tip. Like I said, each day this week, I'm going to give you, and these t- these are less tips, more, these are the biggest mistakes that I see. And I want to just help you tweak them. And then you can look at your own life and be like, oh yeah, that was, that did give me a a challenge. That was challenging for me. And so then what you, maybe you will go back and look at a script. So if there was like an audition you had recently in the past month or so, or if you haven't had an audition at all, if you're one of my brand new beings, maybe you just find the script, get, get a friend to give you a script, go online and find a script. And um, I'm trying to see how I can give you copies of these scripts. I think I will, because there's two scripts I'm going to show you today on the screen. I'll put them in the event page as a file. I'll do that. I'll see if I can do that. And if you're connected to me on Facebook, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be able to get them. And maybe I'll, I'll, yeah, that's what I'll do. But for now, I'm going to show you. So number one, and just know this week, they're not in any particular order. I just decided I'm going to just go in this order. So the biggest, one of the biggest things that I see as a mistake is actors not reading, hey, Brian, not reading stage directions. Let me say that again. You're making a mistake by not reading stage directions. So Christine, what are stage directions? Let me share my screen. And Brian, you, since you just popped on, let me know when you can see my screen. Hold on, hang on. So can you see, can you see um, the script on the screen? I'm gonna swap away from it. But if you could see it right now, let me know in the comments. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Because what happens is when I go to that screen, I can't see myself and I start to panic. Because <laughs> I'm so self-absorbed. I don't see myself. <laughs> okay. So when I say stage directions, I am talking about this stuff here. So this is a script actually from a show I was on. It used to be on the USA Network. It was called Complications. I, it's actually still on Hulu. You can watch it. But this is from the pilot episode. So that's I'm showing you a really old script. So There's no confidentiality issues here. So when you look here, a lot of actors, and I'm telling you, because when I'm coaching people, when they, when they schedule time with me and we're taping or doing an audition, I notice they're not reading this. So INT, that's interior, that'll always let you know where you are. And it gives you stuff. It gives you instructions. Henry is asleep in a shared room, hooked up to monitors. Another patient, an elderly, an elderly man, sleeps in the next bed. John, that's you for this, everyone watching. You're John. John lets himself in, goes over to talk to Henry. He says, Henry. Henry says nothing. Henry, uh, it's Dr. Ellis. I know this is very hard, but Dr. O'Neill is right. So this is. I'm focusing on these stage directions. Still nothing from Henry. It may help to talk about it. Let me scroll down. There are options, prosthetics, all sorts of, again, more stage directions. John frowns as he as he sees that Henry is not moving at all. Henry, 
Again, stage directions, alarmed. He checks the monitors and the machines. He sees that leads, leads have been disconnected. He turns Henry over. Henry's lips are blue. His eyes are rolled back in his head. Nurse, I need a nurse in here. John reattaches the leads from the monitor, checking Henry's pulse. The monitor alarm sounds as Nurse Sherry, and that was me, <laughs> Nurse Sherry and a tech runs in. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Come back to my main screen. Okay? Listen, I have had actors, I've give, I give a lot of practice scenes to my private clients. And I've seen so many do this scene and some others. Now y'all heard me say all that, but I've still have, act, have had actors who they walk in, they're like, Henry, Henry, I need a nurse in here. I need a nurse in here. They're looking at the lines, right? Did you miss all the other stuff going on? Sometimes you guys don't, and please, if you're new to me, my excitement is just, I'm just excited. I'm not angry. I'm not an angry black woman right now. <laughs> Sometimes, and I just coached a client on this last week. I yelled at her through the computer. I was like, did you not read the stage directions? Like, those are your clues through the script. So when you're taping, I understood when my client didn't do it, what she told me, listened for it. And I'm actually, this shout out to Naza. She's going to be interviewed at 12 o'clock as one of my success stories. So if you can tune in, please do. I, when I asked her, why didn't you do, and it wasn't this scene, it was another scene. I said, why didn't you do X, Y, and Z? And she said, I didn't know how. Can you relate? So because you didn't know how, maybe you did read it and you just didn't know how to do it. You just decided that it didn't exist. But even worse are when I have actors this is a huge mistake, who are just looking for their next line. And it's okay. You, you can silently raise your hand at your house. And you're like, yeah, that's me. I just look, I'm highlighting my lines, looking for my next time I speak and forgetting that acting is about more than speaking. It's about more than waiting for your next line to be said. I have actors who ask, who ask me, Christine, I have this audition to tape, but it's like a whole page where I'm not talking. I don't talk to the second page. Should I just start on the second page? The answer is no, not if they told you to start at the top of the first page. They're wanting to see your reaction. They want to see how present you are. They want to see you listening to the other actors and the other action happening. So the same thing is happening with the stage directions. Now, I know what some of y'all are saying, but so-and-so casting told me don't pay attention to the stage directions, especially in Atlanta. I already know who that casting office is. What they're trying to avoid you doing is something over the top because there it has been that actor who's like so and so drinks from the bottles. They come in with a bottle and they trying to they got props and it's a hot mess. That's why they're telling you don't pay attention to the stage directions because they're afraid that you're just going to do too much. I am telling you, I am telling you. Listen, I'm the queen of self taping. I love when I get a self tape audition. My agents, they're like, yeah, yeah, you got a self tape, do that. Then my agents get excited about it. And that's because like, I just totally embody it. Read every single thing. I don't care, you know, when you get those scripts and stuff is crossed out because it's not your lines. It may be another scene, other characters. Do not skip over it. So let's go back to this. Let's all look at it really quick. And then I'm going to show you how I would do it. Okay, we got seven minutes, 49 seconds. Again, if you're watching on Facebook, I don't see your comments. I only see comments on Crowdcast. Okay, just because... This isn't like a, I need, I need all the time I can get. <laughs> hey, y'all, thank you for popping on. Awesome. So I'm gonna go back to the script and I want you guys to think about as you, so just overall, without me having to read it all, the overall gist is we got a doctor who comes in, he sees the patient is unresponsive, he checks the leads. Forgive me, I'm not a, you know, a real nurse. I play one on TV. You know, I'm assuming that some of the some of my nerve, where Marbra at, my nurse, right? Some of the things going to IV things. He checks the monitor. He then he does some other things and then he calls for the nurse. So I'm gonna put it on the screen again. I want you to think in your head before I show you how you would do it. And keep in mind, all you have is this space, right? So I'm gonna tilt the camera down, right? So I always say this is the space that I have here. So I would I always take a piece of it doesn't matter what it is. That's a card from my vet. I put that as my mark. So I know, okay, I, that's my center. So this is my space I have. I might step a foot forward. I might step a foot back. But that's really it. So I know that's the space I have. So all this action. So this is no longer a gray background, you guys. 
This is the hospital. We got to go back to our five-year-old selves who make th things up, who see where's the hospital bed? You get to pick. Is it here or is it here? Now, remember, we always need to see your eyes. So you can't be, your patient can't be down here because always getting his hair. So pay, your, this is your camera, right? That's my camera. Everything else is on one or the other, one side or the other. So that means my patient might be here, but it might be a little down. Maybe the doctor, the nurse, or whatever else. Where are my other things? Where's your monitor? Where's your monitor? Where's, where's the little ox oxygen mask? Like you gotta come into your space. I don't care if you're at home or I don't care if you're in the audition room. Where is everything? You have to know. If you don't know, I don't know. And that's where y'all are messing up. So let's look at the script one more time and let's play in a little imaginary game. Okay, let me share my screen again. And again, if, if you're just joining me, this is the tip of the iceberg of the work that I do with my private clients. I go hard, I go deep. Um, and this is how you make the big impact in booking the room. Because <laughs> again, it's not about booking the role every time. Of course, we want to book the role, but I want you to book the room. Each and every one of you watching, there are so many of you around the world who I know I connect with and you've never said hi, I've never met you, we've never touched each other. I'm grateful for those of you who do respond and say hi, Christine, so I know you exist. But I know there's people who have been watching me for a year, six months, two years. So I know you're out there, but I want you to hear me. Your goal is to book the room. And what that means is just doing the best job that you can do, being prepared, feeling confident, which comes from preparation, and then leaving it in the room and be like, I killed that. Now, they don't pick me. I don't know what they doing. <laughs> I had a few of those auditions recently. Like, I killed it. I was on Instagram talking about it. Like, if you go to my Instagram, you look on my feed, it's that actress Christine Horn, if you're not following me. There's a little girl on there, a little African girl killing it. Hey, that was on a Sunday and I killed that audition. I felt so good and I didn't book it. That still doesn't change how I felt about it. Some of y'all don't book a role, be like, dang, what did I do wrong? I got to Yes, you did do what you did, what you did. Just because you don't book it, I don't want that to affect your confidence and think that you are less than or weren't good enough. It comes down to so many things. How you feel about it is the, what I'm really trying to get across to each and every one of you who listen to me. If you call me coach, if you think I'm your mentor, get that one thing. It is important about how you feel. And when you don't feel good after an audition, it's because you, didn't, you weren't confident or you weren't prepared or you gave your power away. Okay. Ooh, all that, I get that works me up, the whole power away, because so many of us do it. Nerves and all this stuff. That's what's gonna be, y'all know I'm working on my book. The book is almost done. And that's really what I talk about. More all of this, this messes you up. But let, let's go back to the script. I have three minutes and I'm not going a minute longer. Ooh, Wendy says guilty. Honey, we've all been guilty. Let's go back to it. If you're loving this, please make sure you leave in a comment, especially if you're on Facebook, because I can't see your comments in this moment, but I will check them later. Share. Okay. Um, okay. So we're back at this script. So really quick, just again, I know you don't have this printed, but let's just start from here. Remember, the doctor is John. Everyone is John, okay? For my ladies, you're Joanna, okay? Or maybe you're just John, that's like... Your mom wanted a boy, and so they just named you John anyway. <laughs> so we're all John, right? John is here. John says, Henry. Henry says nothing. Henry, it's Dr. Ellis. I know this is very hard, but Dr. O'Neill is right. Still nothing from John. So, so where's John? I mean, where's Henry? Henry's our patient. Henry's in the bed, right? So it may, let's skip all that. Let's go to page six. Um, John frowns. He sees that Henry is not moving at all. Henry, oh my God. So now we're ready to panic, right? But you're not going to panic because you're a doctor and you keep it together even though you have urgency. Alarmed. He checks the monitors on the machines. So where are your machines? So for me, my machines are here. So I'm going to show you this in a second. He checks the monitors on the machines. He sees that leads have been disconnected. He turns Henry over. Then he says, nurse, I need a nurse in here. Okay. 
Awesome. So we have a minute and 30 seconds really quick. So practice this at home. Okay. When we get done, imagine you were John, you walk in. So remember when we're taping, our patient is in the bed, right? Which side is he needs to be on one side of the other of the camera and he needs to be a little bit down, but not too far down. So let's do like for, you know, to our chest, let's do a diagonal. That's our bed now. So now that's reading. Henry, doesn't, don't you see how that reads? Henry, right? He's blah, 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 saying his lines. Henry's not responding. Henry, he checks. The, where's my monitor? So for me, my, I just naturally went, my monitor is here. Don't put anything too high. We don't want to see up your nose. Bring it down here. Monitor. The leads. I'm going to assume, I don't know what leads are, but as a, I would Google it if I had more time. I'm going to assume there are things in his arm. He, he checks the monitor. He turns Henry over. Y'all see how I did that? Do y'all believe I'm turning him over? <sighs> nurse! I need a nurse in here. Because why? That's my hallway. My hallway has to be somewhere. You have to know where everything is. Where's your bed? Where's your monitor? Where are the leads? Where's the oxygen mask? Where's the hall? Where, where is your patient? Okay? Woo! 17 seconds to go. Is this helpful to you? Let me know here in Crowdcast. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Yes, Wendy. Yes, Wendy. Yes, Marquis. Yes, Brian. Facebook, I love you and I feel you. I feel your energy. I'm going to check the messages later. Okay? Listen, this is happening every day. Well, I got to make a dance out of everything. Start. Dismiss. That's my timer. Telling me time is up. Listen, if you loving every bit of this, hit like. This is happening. Hit share. Don't be stingy. Share with another actor every day for the rest of the week, unless I book something. It could happen. If I have, if I book something that conflicts with this time, I will just do it that day, but at a later time. But for now, we are here 11 to 11.20 for the rest of the week. Stay tuned at noon because I'm doing an actor success story with one of my amazing clients, Naza Usher. But I'll see you next time. And remember, if this is something you want more of, if you want Christine to hold your hand to do this, doors have opened to my inner circle. I only have room for 17 more actors. I have three conversations in today and two tomorrow. So those people are going to probably take those spots. If you're ready to step up and do a bit more work with me holding your hand, learn more about the inner circle. I'll put the link on Facebook once this is done. If you're on Crowdcast, the link should be below. Have an amazing day. I got to get ready for this next live session in 30 minutes. Bye.